Um, to go back to our way earlier conversation about how we always talk about animals, I'd actually <coughs> wanted to read this email right when Max was naming his dumb animals. And the milk snake, right? That's a real, that is a real animal. Yeah. What does it do? Um, it fucking hangs out in barns. All right. Yeah, it sucks on cows' teats all day. So, so the, the fun thing about snakes, here's a fucking snake fact for you. There's the milk snake and the coral snake, and they look like different off-brand uh, f- fucking scarves or socks or some shit. Like, one of them is red, yeah. white, black, and the other one's black, white, red. So they're Final Fantasy palette swap enemies. One is coral poisonous. snake is deadly as fuck. They're it's not even right you. They're just, it's like, one of these snakes is not like the other. <clears throat> Figure it out, you know, and they're two different snakes. So This one will but kill you. A milk snake lives in barns, and it's like, I think it's slightly venomous, but not really that bad. The coral snake is like super fucking dead. <laughs> Deadly. But it lives in coral reefs. So what's the fucking problem? It's like, be careful. If you've got a barn in a coral reef, this could be a problem. But otherwise, <laughs> probably not. Also, I have a question. Um, does, does anybody actually, like, did anybody ever tie a bunch of snakes together? <laughs> the answer, the the answer is probably yes, Brian. <laughs> I think I think it's the funniest thing to me. I think I've seen like a bunch of snakes like <laughs> balled up together. Like, <laughs> well, no, they're always balled up, but they always slither out. But I think it's funny. Snakes are basically they're very ang- they're angry ass ropes. <laughs> so if you if you want to get back at a bunch of snakes, you just get a whole bunch of snakes. You tie them together, throw them in a burlap sack, throw them off a bridge. I think the, the coolest thing would have been if if eighties <laughs> underdog movies had kept going the way they were, and yep. they had like flash dance and over the top, and just it just kept getting more and more absurd to the point where they ran out of ideas for actual things that people did and had to start making. Up Sylvester movies. Stallone is snake knot. So it would be like real <laughs> steel, but it would be like, oh no, it's I want to be a snake handler, but there's such a huge competitive scene of snake handlers, and then this guy invents zip ties, and he's like, I invented zip ties. I've got a thing that's going to change the game. <laughs> Tie the snakes together. No one's going to undo the snakes. <laughs> Hydra uh, coming. I want to see. I want to see like a, a buddy movie where two snakes are stuck together by tiny handcuffs. <laughs> <laughs> They're like we just robbed the bank. <laughs> snakes are fucking midnight, dumb. It's midnight it's, run with snakes. It's really stupid to me that we are we are afraid of fucking ropes with a mouth. That is so <laughs> dumb to me that people live in a place where it's just like I'm a snake. Okay, you can't even fucking right. If you lived in Australia, you would Australia you would have such a different opinion to that. Where there are snakes that could drop you dead in six seconds. Yeah, you know sure. What I mean? Like, but that's bullshit though because that's a cheat code. That's just poison. They poison their mouths. They can't do anything else. They have, they, they have venom. They it's can't different. Hit. It's not poison. They're Stop. not poisonous. Use the fucking Stop worst. Stop it. Uh, actually, actually. 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 I find, my, I find myself <laughs> wishing <laughs> that I would get bit by a rattlesnake. Snakes are terrifying, Brian. Why? Why? Because they bite you and you die. But they don't do anything else. That's literally the only trick they do. Whoa, except the, lo- one, the, larger ones can, the larger ones can choke you. That's it. Larger okay. ones can eat a man. Yeah, and that's but that's still that's part of the biting. You know, a, a cool thing for like a PR person to do would it be if you like, let's say you were the the agent or something for like the guy from NXS or like uh, David Carradine, and you come in and it's like, oh, this guy's oh, he's fucking choked himself jerking off, and then it's like, I got an idea. And you just get a boa constrictor and wrap it around there, and they come in like, oh no, he's. He clearly was trying to beat off on it to prove that he was the bigger, <laughs> the bigger he, snake. Man. He was trying to p- p- have a spitting cobra. It's, you know, it's like and then the new story is like to scare away the new the story is like TMZ says David Carradine fucks boa constrictors. <laughs> and his, his agent's like, oh man, There's, and then it does a bam, and a bam, and a bam, and it zooms on his head, and his head gets stuck on the the fucking target in the middle. Anthony, what's, yes. this, what's this email say? <laughs> Well, uh, the email was just a dumb thing about. Why some do people stupidly... still email us? <laughs> people, it was a dumb email about some stupidly named birds. And when Max was naming things like milk snake, and you were like, you couldn't believe it existed. So they were just pointing out things, and they gave nice photos and YouTube videos of each one too, including a bird called a dick sizzle, um, <laughs> an oven bird. Like I don't even know how that's that called one's a, just... a turkey, <laughs> <laughs> uh, a, a bobo, a bobo link. A bubble link. Uh, bubble link. Do they have a bush tit? <laughs> a woodcock. Animal or Star Wars character? A David and then, Fincher. And then, they had, and then they have a tufted titmouse. Yeah. Titmouse is not shit. One of my favorite... Uh, fucking piece well, of I, shit. I actually, I went through a, the, the Peabody Museum in in, uh, in Cambridge, Massachusetts once with a sketchbook, and I wrote down all the stupid named animals. And I have this somewhere. Bear. My favorite... <laughs> Rhino. Kirk's dick dick. <laughs> Um, but one of my favorites was the, uh, the a whimsy thistle, the jot headed porgy, which is a fucking fish. <laughs> That's racist. It looks like the, the most angry fucking fish. It's just it. It looks like what somebody was bullying this fish. <laughs> it's just like mm. 
Something like that. I love those fish that both their eyes are on one side. <laughs> and they're just like, <laughs> kill me. And all the other fish are like, you fucking How idiot. The, the Picasso fish. But it How sucks because you have to be like in a there, – there's millions of fish around you constantly who are just like – I don't know. It's like when you see those Sneak dudes that walk back. weird. <laughs> And it's like I know that sucks for you, but it sucks even more that you have to walk. In, you have to walk weird in front of people that walk normal all the time. Yep, sucks for those fish with um, two two eyes on one side. So, 